Hello, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Lily. I am a licensed Texas-based makeup artist and today I'm going to be doing a full face bridal look tutorial. I actually have my whole kit with me upstairs which is rare because usually most of my products are packed away in my kit and I don't use them every day on myself just because clients first at this point, but today I have the whole thing, so we're gonna see what we can do. I'm gonna be trying to use some new products today, some stuff that I haven't tried before, obviously stuff that I have as well, but to prime, I'm gonna be using this around my eyes, this on my skin, and this Born to Glow as well. This one is in the shade Sunbeam. And then for the brows, I will be using the Anastasia Dip Brow in Blonde. And then I'm trying this. It is a soap brow. It says Kaida Brow Styling Cream. I tried it a little bit um, without anything like filled in on my brows. And I, I liked it. So we're going to try it again and see how it is compared to like a brow gel. So without further ado, let's jump into the video. Okay, I lied about using the Anastasia. I said I'm going to try something new. So I just got this Miss A brow pencil. I actually got like four different shades of it. So I'm going to try to fill in my brows today with it. And this is the shade Taupe. So as you can see, my natural eyebrow is much more like cool toned, but of course that's kind of the point of filling in your eyebrows is to make them look a little bit different, so. To secure the brow hairs in place today, I'm going to be using this Kaida brow soap that I got on Amazon. I'm just using this wet spoolie, scrubbing it in and locking those brows up and in place. Using the e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer in Light Ivory, I'm going to use this rounded flat brush to define both the bottom and top of my brow. As well as priming my eyelid with the concealer. With a fluffy brush, you're going to want to just blend everything in and make it nice and seamless. Now that the brows are on, sorry they look different color because the lights are in totally different places, but there we go. The brows are on, they are concealed, the lid is concealed, prepped, and we are now going to begin the bridal eyeshadow with this Bare Necessities ColourPop palette. I totally forgot I had the, this palette. Always set your liquid bases with a powder topper. Today I'm just using a light eyeshadow to prepare for the color. To start off this look, I'm using this light shimmer shade on the inner portion of my eye. Usually I would wait to do the inner corner until the end once I cut the crease, but I wanted this to be a more natural shimmer and not like a sharp defined line. Thank you. 
Topping that color, I'm using a Miss A powder lighter in a light pink shade just to add, you know, a little bit of a different color and make it even more vibrant. Now we're getting to blend out and darken that outer corner with a medium brown shadow. I'm just going to apply that and smoke it out. On the lash line, I'm using an even deeper brown to define and emphasize. Blend out under the eye. For my waterline, I'm going to be filling it in with this Miss A black pencil liner just to make everything more darkened and dramatic. I'm also going to add a wing using this Miss A in brown. I felt like brown is less harsh than black and it goes a little bit more with the soft look. I did do a little bit big of a wing I feel like for bridal but again it really just depends who your bride is and what type of makeup they're used to and what they want. But this is what I wanted so it's what I did. And then once I finished that wing I went ahead and popped on some mascara using my Maybelline Lash Sensational which is my go-to. And I just coated the lashes to prepare them for my falsies. Popping on some cheap, probably sheen lashes using my duo lash glue. These are a more natural style. I was trying to keep it simple seeing as I'm doing bridal, but again, everyone is going to have a different preference on their lash depending on who they are. Literally like 10 minutes before I started filming this video, I got these concealers from Miss A. So I am using all of these shades on my face today so I can try them out for obviously color correcting, contouring, and concealing. Here I'm starting out with the green shade in order to color correct any red spots or acne scars that I may have on my face. For those of you that don't know about color theory and the color wheel, when two colors are opposite on the color wheel and you put them on top of each other, they will neutralize and almost cancel out. So when you put the green on top of the red, it just makes it look almost like your skin again. For the under eyes, I'm using this more of a deeper orangey tone in order to color correct any purpley blue that I have. And then once I pop my concealer on top of it, it will be a much more seamless blend. For my Oliver foundation today, I am using this Maybelline Fit Me in 118 on a big fluffy brush and just putting a thin layer all over. Now to highlight and conceal, I'm going back with that Miss A shade I showed you earlier under the eyes, across the T-zone, and just anywhere that may need it. Blend, blend, blend. You literally never stop blending as a makeup artist. Everything must be seamless, especially for bridal.
Again, using that deep shade I showed you earlier, I'm going to begin to contour and blend everything out. Back in with that light concealer shade, I'm defining under the contour in order to really emphasize the cheek structure. For blush today, I'm using this Cheek Heat, which is a cream blush by Maybelline. Once everything is all blended out, I am going to set everything with my RCMA loose powder. Using the same powder technique, I'm going to redefine that contour. For bronzer, I'm going to be using this e.l.f. Forever Sunkissed Powder Bronzer. Blush today is also e.l.f. and it's just like a nice pinky shade color. I'm not sure what it's called. Using the Morphe Continuous Spray, I'm going to set my makeup in place. For highlighter recently, I've been loving this Ofra palette. It has quite a few shades so that you can really get any skin tone. So I'm just going to use it to define the high points of my face. For lip liner today, I am using this, I think it's, the brand is called Flower or something, I really don't know, but it's just a nice pinky shade and I'm going to use that to line the lips and then I'm going to use a Maybelline Superstay in the center.
On top of this, I'm going to be using a Miss A lip gloss in order to just really add that shiny dimension and seal all the color in. Mascara on the bottom lashes. And this is the final bridal look. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Leave a like, comment, subscribe, follow my Instagram, and I'll see you in the next one.